Senator Cornett. Judge, I can't think of a more embarrassing scandal for the United States Senate since the McCarthy hearings. When the comment was about the cruelty of the process toward the people involved. And the question was asked, have you no sense of decency? And I'm afraid we've lost that, at least for the time being. Do you understand you've been accused of multiple crimes? Uh, I'm, I'm painfully aware for my family and me to read about this. And breathless reporting. Of course, the, the sexual assault that Dr. Ford claims that you denied, then the claims of, of Ms. Ramirez, yeah. that not even the New York Times would report because they couldn't corroborate it. And then Stormy Daniels' lawyer released a bombshell accusing you of gang rape. All of those are crimes, are they not? They are, and I'm, I'm never going to get my reputation back. It's, it, my, my life is totally and permanently altered. Well, Judge, judge don't give up. I'm not giving the American, up. The American, I, people, the American I, people are listening to this, and they will make their decision, and I think you'll come out on the right side of that well, decision. Well, I, I will always be a good person and try to be a good judge, whatever happens. But so this is not a job interview. You've been accused of a crime. If you have lied to the committee and the investigators, that is a crime in and of itself, correct? That is correct. So in order to vote against your nomination, we would have to conclude that you are a serial liar. Yeah. And you have exposed yourself to legal jeopardy in the way in your interaction with this committee and the investigators. Isn't that correct? That's, that's my understanding. You talked in your interview on, uh, with Martha McCollum the other night about a fair process. Some of my colleagues across the aisle say, well, the burden is not on the accuser because this is a job interview. The burden is on you. But you said you weren't there and it didn't happen. It's impossible for you to prove a negative. So I would just suggest that you have been accused of a crime and that a fair process under the United States Constitution and our notion of fair play means that the people who make an accusation against you have to come forward with some evidence. Isn't that part of a fair process? Yes, sir, Senator. And part of that means that if you're going to make an allegation, there needs to be corroboration. In other words, you're not guilty because somebody makes an accusation against you in this country. We're not a police state. We don't give the government that kind of power. We insist that those charges be proven by competent evidence. And I know we're not in a court. I've told my colleagues if we were in court, Half of them would be in contempt of court. But you have been accused of a crime, and I believe fundamental notions of fair play and justice in our constitutional system require that if somebody's going to make that accusation against you, then they need to come forward with some corroboration, not just allegations. And you're right to be angry about the delays in your ability to come here and protect your good name, because in the interim, it just keeps getting worse. It's not Dr. Ford. It's this story that not even the New York Times would report, the allegation of Ms. Ramirez. And then Stormy Daniels' lawyer comes up with this incredible story accusing you of the most sordid and salacious conduct. It's outrageous. And you're right to be angry. But this is your chance to tell your story, and I hope you have a chance to tell us everything you want to tell us, but the burden is not on you to disprove the allegations made. The burden under our system, when you accuse somebody of criminal conduct, is on the person making the accusation. Now, I understand we're not, this isn't a trial, like I said, but I just wanted to make sure that we understood. It's hard to reconstruct what happened 36 years ago. And I appreciate what you said about Dr. Ford, that perhaps she has had an incident at some point in her life, and you are sympathetic to that. And, but your reputation is on the line, 
And I hope people understand the gravity of the charges made against you and what a fair process looks like.